Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to make this star out of clay. We'll start with a clay pinch pot, then I will show you how to shape it into a star. Last, we'll paint it with glazes and I'll show you a special splatter technique that will help you get this texture that I have right here. A star-shaped pinch pot can have many uses. It can hold change, keys, candy, mints. When using clay in my classroom, I give each student a large piece of cardboard to work on. This helps keep the tables a lot cleaner. You could also use a piece of board like this. Another suggestion might be covering the surface area with a large piece of paper so that the table doesn't get dirty. You will also need some clay. I'm using this gray clay right now. It turns white after firing. I store it in baggies. And uh, before I close the bag, I like to spray a little bit of water in there to keep it moist so it doesn't dry out. Gloves are a great option if you don't want to get your hands dirty with the clay. You'll need a cup of water um, and some carving tools. I like to use some of these wooden sticks. They're pointed on one end and flat on the other. Some plastic carving tools, some that are curved, some that are flat edged. Uh, toothbrush makes some nice texture on your clay projects. Um, brushes are always good to have um, to smooth out any cracks. I like to use a spray bottle filled with water for wetting the clay. So first start balling up the clay like this, squeeze it, try to get any air bubbles or air pockets out of it. Air bubbles will expand when the clay is heated and cause your project to blow up and you don't want that. So make sure that as you're working with the clay, try to squeeze it out and get out any air bubbles that might be there. So roll it into a ball. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your thumb and you're gonna put your thumb inside the clay, twist it around like this. Then we're going to pinch the clay and twist, pinch and twist. This is why it's called a pinch pot. Pinch and twist. And we're gonna turn this pinch pot into a star. So you have to start with a regular pinch pot. Keep pinching and twisting. Now you don't want one side to be thinner than the other and you want them all to be about maybe the width of your pinky. Going around, smoothing it out. And once you get like a bowl, like a pinch pot, like this, like a small pot, then we're gonna kind of flatten it out like this and make it shorter and wider. And then we're gonna start making some corners on it for the points of the star. We're gonna do a five pointed star. squeeze the clay and push it out there. That'll be the top one. Then we're gonna have like two on the sides and two on the bottom. Okay, the trick is to try to get them all about the same size. So you want it to be pointy here and then the inside angle to be pointy as well. A little tricky at first but the more you work with it, you'll start making it into that shape of a star. Press down on the bottom and make this a little bit flatter. It's starting to look like a star now. Try to make each one about the same size. OK. 
can. Something like that. All right, now that we have the shape, then you're gonna start just smoothing it out. Maybe removing some of the clay, like down here. I might take some of this off. Remember not to over wet the clay and turn it into mud. You don't want that, it'll stick to your table. All right, so just work on shaping it into a star. That's what I'm gonna do here. Remember to keep your extra clay. Um, you can always use it again. You might want to add some other things to this project. Now it's starting to look a lot like a star. So I'm just going to smooth out the edges, the outside edges, the inside edges, and make sure there's no cracks. I notice this part's kind of thin, so I'm gonna take some clay and thicken up this wall here. So it doesn't crack, it's stronger. I'm just cutting off some extra clay that's on the corners here. Actually, I just cut some of that off. So I'm just gonna keep working with the clay and smoothing it out until um, it's ready to go dry. Remember to write your name on your project. So I'm gonna use my brush and you can use a brush or your finger and just I'm gonna smooth it out a little bit. Like the way that this looks i'm going to put it in the drying cabinet and let it dry for about 10 days or so until it becomes bone dry meaning it has no moisture in it anymore and it'll be ready to fire in the kiln this star pinch pot is now completely dry and ready for firing in the kiln This is the kiln. Here's what the inside looks like with some of the projects loaded up. You will need various colors of glaze to paint onto your clay project. These glazes are non-toxic, lead-free, and food safe. And two coats work really well, and you can fire it at a cone of four in your kiln. You will need a palette for the glaze. When I'm having my students paint their projects with glaze in my classroom, I put one cup at each table and each table has a different color of glaze. Then the students can move around the room and use that color. And when they're done, they go to the next table and use that color. And at the end of the class, it's easier for me to clean up because I can take like this green glaze and put it back in the bottle and then I'm not wasting any of it. You will need a cup of water for cleaning off your brushes. You will also need some brushes to paint with. You will also need a paper towel to dry off your brushes. Also, when I'm painting, I'm going to use this Lazy Susan. This spins around and then it's easy for me to get to all sides of the clay project. Here's my star project after being fired in the kiln. 
The clay has turned white and it's become hard like a rock. So now I'm going to paint it with glaze. I'm going to use two coats. Remember not to put any glaze on the back of your project because that could make it stick to the shelf in the kiln and then your project could break trying to remove it. So two coats, don't paint the back. Here's my palette. I'm gonna use mainly the cool colors on this side, purples, blues, and greens. Taking out Lazy Susan. Start right there, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm done painting my star. You probably saw that I, I did a little bit of a splatter technique. If you're going to try that technique, make sure that you have your table covered up and you're wearing a paint shirt or a paint apron because it could splatter back on you. If you're doing this in a classroom and you have table partners, make sure you're far away from your table partner because you don't want to get paint splattered on their project. But it does make a pretty cool effect and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how this comes out. So I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll put it in the kiln. Here's how the clay star turned out. That splatter technique turned out really nice. We used two different kinds of blue and purple to get that texture. Remember we painted the sides with a darker blue, left the bottom blank so it didn't stick to the kiln shelf. I hope you enjoyed making a star with me today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.